As a general principle, I've been pontificating about the superiority of one tempo fencing versus two tempo fencing. This is a touch I feel is illustrative of that principle, where you're gonna see Kongstad push, start a two tempo action, and Song Yong Park is gonna hit on his first tempo. A couple months ago, I wrote this article on trends in international fencing, and I wrote, by the time the fencer has begun their second tempo, their opponent has already hit them with the first tempo in half the fencing time. Let's slow this down and break this down piece by piece to show what I mean by that. Kongstad is gonna push Park here and threaten him with a little bit of pressure. He's gonna faint, step in, and right here is the start of his first tempo, okay? So he's gonna step forward, that's the end of his first tempo. And look, Park, after Kongstad finishes that first tempo, is gonna go direct into the preparation. Now to be clear, there's nothing wrong with a well-executed two-tempo action. In fact, Song Yong Park is a pretty definitive two-tempo fencer himself. But if you can hit as efficiently as you can, without having to use multi-tempo to hit direct, well, why not do it? 